Icons Idols Irini by the Byzantine Choral Project, Episode 3. 769 Common Era. Irini's chamber in the women's quarters of the palace. The women's quarters are a mirror to the men's. The ladies take off their veils and hold office. She's so tasteless. You can see what she's thinking. I was chosen. <laughs> so why do these women look at me as if I'm not a real princess? Did you see her ogling the workshops? Thinking about how to make some money on the side? I'm given this group of ladies with so many talents. Tell me what you can each do. I don't make things, but I sing and play the cathara. I can dance to her melodies. I have spent a lot of time with children, so I know all their lullabies. I hope one of you knows how silkworms live on wood. I want us to make things here. Look, 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 there's that eunuch again. Which one? Leo's chief one. I bet he's been sent by Leo, so he doesn't have to come himself. <laughs> Kaiserisa, this is a little gift from the library. I've stolen it for you, but only if you want it. It's about crafting golden things. When I was traveling as a soldier, I saw many different crafts. I bought a lot of unusual things. You were a soldier? I'd like to hear about that. I don't want to keep your ladies from their tasks. They can go. <laughs> oh. They can go. Can you see? I have one arm bigger than the other. Were you an archer? I could stand at your window right now and shoot a man half a mile away in the city. But you're a bureaucrat now. Why doesn't your arm go back to its old size? <laughs> the other side of the palace is its own battlefield. You understand that? This side, you have your workshops and your beautiful gardens, but the men's side is crowds and noise. But there are hundreds of eunuchs. Don't you organize everything? We'd need much more power again to do that. No, we give advice, we run the offices, we set out interpretations of the rules, but something happens and everyone reacts their own way. I want to use the old workshops, the silk ones. Am I allowed to? The Empress Theodora had a whole fleet trading her silk around the seas. Someday you'll do that. I want to do it now. <laughs> Why not? Or is it not allowed? Everything this week seems to be a squabble over who gets what. Of course. People are waiting, hoping for scraps to fall in their own mouths. Remember, there are so many people here on the same path as you. Do you understand that? Now you are Kaiserisa. You think you'll be Basilisa, but you could be pushed aside. I have so many questions I want to ask you now. I have so many questions I want to ask you now. Oh my, what have I done? Open the door, let a puppy spring in. I have so many questions I want to ask you now. I have so many questions I want to ask you now. I don't fear that there are Hard to answer a child talking tough. I find it hard to answer this little Greek. I have so many questions for Leo and for me. I looked at the emperor and saw he was ill. Softly, softly. What happens next is something only an ankle biter would ask. Tell me, what are you telling me? Make them love you. What's the eunuch telling her? Find your soldiers, make them love you. I have so many questions I want to ask you now. Tell me, who are these allies? Tell me, what are their names? Ugh, overexcited, don't like her little paws scrambling at my saying all i'm 
saying, what I'm saying, Kaisarisa, is love all your ladies, make all your ladies love you too. Love all your ladies, make all your ladies love you too. Find your soldiers, make them love you. Love all your ladies, make all your ladies love you too. All my ladies? They're my soldiers? Love all your And if I've met them and can only love one or two? Didn't you say your tongue can say any lie? I'd tell your lady Syrah she'll make a wonderful nurse. Syrah is an unlit pearl, closed in her shell. Syrah doesn't sing lullabies. Because your lady Syrah has brothers who are military fiends. She wants Syrah quickly, no one else. Wait, why? No, I'm meant to be going in next. Kaisarisa, I am honored when you have been thinking on it so long. But I am not the lady to be your son's nurse. I am going to be your nurse. Megaris has my love. But thinking about it, I've realized she could weaken a kid by treating him like a child. I've been reading about it, how a prince needs to be a poor senex. An old man boy. We should only let him have games and toys that are lessons in themselves. Well, that's stupid. Kids need to have fun. Like wooden weapons. Yes, play swords, but also things like a pull-along horse, knuckle bones, balls and hoops. What do you remember your brothers playing with? My brothers were sent away young. I played alone. Simple games. I had dolls and a loom. <laughs> Nothing useful, no real mirror to teach me how to be a princess. I want him to grow as skilled as your father and brothers. I've heard they are amazing soldiers. You know the emperor is very ill? The emperor is not ill. But how my son will need you if he is. other one storming in, the other Greek girl? She's not even bowing. I'm your nurse! Look, the eunuchs can see my mistakes, and they tell me that I need to make my ladies all feel equally close to me. Only if you trust them as much as me! I can't be Irini Sarantapekos. I can't always be with Greeks! Leo's stepbrothers are already forcing their children on the Emperor for recognition before... Before what? The Emperor is very ill. He's yes, I know he's going to die. And you're going to be Basilisa, I get it. Megaris, shh. She's the first person to say it. 
The Emperor is going to die. Oh, we've had the door closed too long. If you don't need me anymore, send me back to Greece. No, I, I do need you here, always. Summer 770, Common Era. Constantine V is in his rooms. Last night, unexpectedly, he dismissed all his eunuchs from his personal service. All his attendants now are drawn from the military. Their main task is to prepare his face. Each open sore is very slow to be covered. They've started powdering his face in addition to using paint. An emperor is a mirror of heavenly authority, and God is unblemished. Oh, Constantine. Your doctor begs you to stop powdering your sores. They won't heal smothered in lead paint. I still have to look like a son of God. How strange to have two bodies, my own and the Emperor's. Let them in. How do I look to you? A uh, father. I hear you have asked your eunuchs about my health. We are... Leo claims you are overwhelmed and ask the eunuchs questions out of ignorance. He admits that he failed to curtail Stavrakios. So remember the eunuchs are your tutors for precedent and dance. But don't cultivate closeness or favor with them. Don't ever ask the eunuchs about my health. It is treachery to have my name so carelessly, so viciously on your... Father, we think she is growing... Oh. <laughs> Good. He holds a hand out to me. There's so much powder on it. Do they tell you that you're vulnerable without their little tricks? Don't talk to the eunuchs, Irene. A Kaiserisa keeps her dignity in silence. Loyalty keeps you safe. Anything they tell her, I will tell you. But I have to ask, why have you sent away your eunuchs? There is no answer. And Leo is surprised to see what looks like a path wetting through the powder on his father's face from his eye to the tip of his nose. He guesses that a eunuch always tells you the reality of the situation, what will most likely happen and it's hard to be told to prepare for the bureaucratic handover needed for your own death. He tries to imagine his own eunuch, Stravakios, telling him he's very ill, he needs to go to the official purple room to die. Leo finds his own eyes watering. Are we all traitors, father, because we can't keep you alive? Day. Icon's Idols Irini was written by Helen Banner and composed by Grace Oberhofer, with sound design by Grace Oberhofer and Nathan Lee, music direction by Robert Frost, and audio engineering by Nathan Lee. It's performed by Hilary Asari, Iris Beaumier, Isabella Dawes, Hannah Aiken, Julia Izumi, Grace Oberhofer, Lucas Papenfusklein, Shanta Parasharaman, Yael Shavit, Kay Weber, and features Foley artist Nicole Orbona. All parts of the work are subject to copyright. Icons Idols Irini was produced by Emily Caffery and was developed in part by Opera America, The New Georges, The Alliance of Resident Theaters New York, The Tank, The New York State Council on the Arts, and The New Ohio IRT Archive Residency.